Bobby here, check it out. I have a Fender Squire Deluxe Stratocaster. It comes in Daphne Blue. They also come in Pearl White. Um, before I get into all the particulars of the guitar, how's this coming across, okay? Testing. Um, I wanted to talk about getting a decent guitar for 300, 350. These brand new, it's a, the Fender Squire Deluxe Stratocaster. You can probably find these brand new for maybe $300 if you shop around. Uh, I got this for like about $175 by accident. I went to Guitar Center and I was just getting some strings and um, I just saw this sitting on a guitar stand and it wasn't even a price tag and I asked the guy how much it is and I think he said $175. And so I jumped on it just because, you know, the Squires are pretty decent guitars. And uh, I wanted to do some mods to it, too, because um, I always like the Yngwie, um, Yngwie guitar, the Yngwie Stratocaster. But those are like 1100 No, those are actually $1,800. You, know, you have to shop around. You know, obviously, he's got the scallop fretboard, and he's got um, his Yngwie Seymour Duncan pickups. You know, they're stacked. But I don't want to spend that much money for a guitar. And then also, it kills me because it only has 21 frets. The majority of the squires and other fenders have 22. But uh, got, that, got this guitar at a really low price. And I figured, well, I'll kind of ingve it up. And I had the fretboard scalloped, and I'm going to get into that. But just real quick, it's a basswood body, polyurethane. You know, the bridge is, uh, you know, the two points with block saddles. I'll put a picture up so you can see. The neck is nice neck, 22 frets, medium jumbo frets. It's uh, C-shaped. 20, 25 and a half inch scale synthetic bone nut and I had the neck sent out to dccustomguitars.com and they do scalloping for all kinds of guitars for strats or Ibanez 24 frets even guitars that have um you know like a tree of life inlay they you know see they, have, they do really good work you can look on the website so he actually did this for me and I think for maple necks it's like 150 and for Rosewood, maybe like 130, 140. I think the price difference is just because the maple is a harder wood to to cut or, or to file. But I like it. You know, when you think of a scallop fretboard, first thing that comes to mind is Ingve and one of the uh But uh, I think it's comfortable. I, f I feel that you have a little more control. It's easier to grab. It's very comfortable. A little lighter to the touch. You don't have to, some people would think you have to squeeze as hard or something, but you know, like with a cord, just regular. If you squeeze too hard though. Lighter to the touch, very comfortable, a little more control. Um, also in this video, talked about getting a scallop done for 150, not a bad deal. And I wanted to make this guitar sound a little bit better. I want to put a Seymour Duncan hot rail on the bridge to kind of just get something a little more beefy, a little more heavier. I mean, It's a Duncan design. It's um, the bridge is an SC 101 B. The middle SC 101, and then the neck is an SC 101 N. Just throwing some licks out there. Nothing great. Uh, three ply pick guard. But like I said, I uh, wanted to get something a little beefier. Um, I was almost going to buy like a, a stacked, you know, one of the Ingve Bridge stack pickups that he has that he does with Seymour Duncan. But I got a pretty good deal on this. A Seymour Duncan Hot Rail. Got it for $85. You can probably get them even lower, even used for maybe like 50 or 60 These are made in Indonesia. 
you know, regular standard tuning pegs. You know, looks like, uh, I don't know if you can see that here. I'll throw a picture up. But uh, all in all, I mean, it's a pretty decent guitar. Like I said, I want to kind of put the pickup in and I had this fretboard scalloped. Kind of a cool color. I never really had like a baby blue guitar before. But it was really clean, really good condition. So I'm going to throw this in. We'll hear how it sounds. And uh, I'll see you soon. I'm back. Put the hot rail in and let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Not a whole lot of noise, like if we put it in the coil. You hear the humming? So this is pretty nice. So um, this came out pretty good. I like the way it sounds. Um, any questions, leave a comment below, email me. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for supporting the channel and subscribing. Please share with your friends and family. And what I'll do is I'll get another video out of me playing a fun solo using this guitar. Um, I'd like to do an Ingve solo, but his stuff is really, really hard. He's, he's just amazing, one of my favorite players. Um, so that's it. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon and thank you.